Welcome to the random evolution challenge. These are the rules. I have six different evolutions on this random wheel. And after every win, I will spin a random evolution with a secret mystery number to replace one of the cards in my deck. And in order to beat this challenge, I have to earn a win with every single evolution. So make sure you stick around to the end because things get absolutely crazy. And for our very first spin, we have... Today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Defense Derby. Defense Derby is a brand new PvP tower defense game offering an experience unlike anything you've ever seen before. Combining a unique blend of PvE and PvP elements with real-time strategy, you will compete with other players from around the world to defend your castle and be the last one standing. Unleash the power of the unique scouting system to outbid your opponents by using your derby chips to scout units and strengthen your defenses. This betting system offers a unique twist that challenges you to outbid your opponents and no two matches are ever the same strategically place or rearrange the units within your castle to create powerful synergies unlocking special buffs with the right formations featuring nine different heroes each with their own unique skills and passive abilities and 31 different units you can build and customize the ultimate strategy show off your skill by climbing the ranks of the competitive derby league while progressing through the guardian journey to grow your collection don't miss out on this exciting new game release and download defense derby right now for free on both ios and android through the link in the description down below for the actual first spin, we are taking two points in Tower Cycle and replacing one of the cards with... Royal Giant. And to find out what card we are replacing, let's reveal the mystery number. Oh, card number eight. That means Ice Golem, you're out. And Royal Giant is in. 3.1 Evolved Royal Giant Hog Cycle. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. We just have a Royal Giant instead of the Ice Golem for traditional Fast Cycle deck, but maybe it works out. LRA, what you got for us today? Hog goes in. Hog goes in. Oh, two hog shots. Let's go. Let's go, RG. Let's spam the RG at the bridge. What do you got for that, buddy? Oh, a firecracker. But oh no. He also has a P.E.K.K.A. It's only like one RG shot. If I go can in the middle, it should activate the King Tower against his firecracker. We could also go a musketeer for the extra DPS and then distract these P.E.K.K.A. with the skeletons. And that should be some adequate distraction and destruction yo we destroy the pekka and then we also finish off the battle ram and we already have the rg evolution ready to go what dude one cycle evolutions are insane let's go rg here hog rider take a seat my friend there's a new sheriff in town the rg's here and oh he's got a mega knight too yo what is he playing a random deck too or what but the rg just goes in Oh my goodness, that is so much damage. Go can in the middle. Uh, Musketeer in the middle as well. And I think we gotta go surround with the skeletons here. Uh, nice surround chain, they all died. <laughs> uh, either way though, we finish off the Mega Knight. And honestly, with the Hog Rider, it actually kind of works. We can go for the Fast Cycle Hog Rider when his, when his pack is in rotation, giving us one shot and a cheaper electric commitment. And then when the Mega Knight's in rotation, then we go the Royal Giant. Uh, let's go cannon over here. And we should be able to destroy the pack quite nicely. Let's see to the left side. Let's wait for the Rage Bow. Lock back the Battle Arm right now. Deny his charge damage. And then he's going to go in with the Rage. Oh, he does, but it's too late. Now we're going to go in. RG at the bridge. Let's go, baby. You know what? Actually, let's go hop right here right side as well. Go for the dual lane destruction. The Musketeer takes care of the Mega Knight. Hog goes in right lane. He can't respond. His deck is no match for the power of the 3.1 random evolution cycle. Let's go cannon up high, distract the Mega Knight. Skeletons for the Pekka. Oh my goodness, we are already back to one more Royal Giant. We, we gotta go one more RG here, right? Let's freeze this. Actually, you know what? Chain, calm down. Yo, okay, wait, wait, wait. Chain, calm down. There is a Pekka on your tower, buddy. Oh, that was so close. One more RG in the middle. Pulls the Mega Knight back. Evolved Royal Giant goes in and whoa, boom. That's a pretty solid victory. For deck number two, we have a Goblin Giant Sparky deck. Let's find out what evolution we are using next. Oh, the Firecracker. But what card are we replacing? Revealing our mystery number. Card number two. Oh, no. That means Sparky, you're gone. <laughs> 
Firecracker opening play. I'm so sad we don't have Sparky. I was really looking forward to it. It's one of my favorite cards and works so well in this strategy. But now we're rocking Firecracker Goblin Giant. Whatever that is. <laughs> it's nothing. But uh, make a mini goes in. One snaps the Firecracker down. Once the Goblin Giant tanks the mini pekka, we're going to go mini pekka of our own. It should destroy his world giant while also destroying his mini pekka. Come on. Yes, sir. Then we go Rage Bell. And I don't think he can stop this. Even with the skeletons. The Midnight goes in. We zap the bats down. Midnight locks on tower. Come on, baby. Then it's tower down. Oh, dude, we're so dead. The evolved RG is way too powerful, dude. Come on. Come on, Midnight. Shoot. Yes, sir. Oh, that wasn't too much too much damage. We'll probably lose that tower left lane though at some point in this battle. If he goes Hogger right now, we don't really have too many responsive actions. Yeah. Maybe we'll just go Goblin Jet right lane. We'll give him that tower left side of the arena and hope for the- Oh yeah, he's got the mini pack up. If only I had a spark in this battle, it was so good, but we don't. So we're just dead. We got devours though. Yo, here's the plan, my friends. We destroy the RG. We go in with the Dark Prince, mini pack it, and Firecracker push with the Rage Spell. And then the Firecracker Evolution pulls her weight and comes in clutch and destroys that tower. Come on, Firecracker. You know you want to. One more shot. A, a third one, please. Oh, just so close. Come on, dude. You're gonna be better than that. He zap the RG down, stuns it, denies any more damage. And then I kind of want to go in with a Goblin Giant in the middle. It should distract his towers as well as the Firecracker. We drop the Rage Bell. It allows the Mini to lock on tower. He wizard goes in and the tower goes down. Let's go. Three, two, one. And we have ourselves a two crown victory. For deck number three, we have Electro Giants. And what evolution is joining our deck today? Going to be all right. It's gonna be the mortar revealing our mystery number. Ba Bam! Number six. That means one, two, three, four, five, six. Barbarian barrel, you're out. And mortar evolution, you're in, buddy. Royal giant coming down left side of the arena with my electro giant in the exact same lane. Who's giant is stronger? Let's go, Phoenix, to destroy his RG. And I kind of want... Oh, no, 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 no. That does not hit my Phoenix. Oh, no. And his arrows destroys my bomber. But you know what? The Electro Giant gets in there. Does not reach his tower. Clash Royale, are you trolling me? Thankfully, we have the power of the Mortar in our strategy. Because you know what? I didn't need no Barbarian Barrel. <laughs> Come on, no. Why is the Evolved RG only one card cycle? That is so busted, dude. That's okay. Oh, it's not okay. You giant here, please. The e at least destroys the minions. But man, that RG is going to wreak havoc on my tower. And he also has a mini pack at 2, eh? The mini pack is going to destroy my my, my e giant, right? Get some good tower damage. Where's your mini pack right now? Where is it? I know you want to go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, wait. What? It hits one of the goblins and stops? What? Let's go defensive mortar just to cycle to our mortar evolution. Having two cycles for the Evo is so drastically different than just having the uh, the one. Like the RG is only, I don't know, man. It just feels so much more stronger because it's only one card cycle versus two. Although if I go one of these, that what does it do? What does it do? Please say something. Please say something. One zap, no zaps. Where is the RG evolution? Oh, there it is. Okay, cannon up high. Phoenix back here. And we might have to go in. Actually, we're, we're fine here. Once the uh, wizard crosses the river, we go Golden Knight and the Evolved Mortar. Come on, baby. He has to go Minion Horde here. And I really wish we had my RG right now, please. RG, <laughs> no. That's okay, though. That's some good tower damage from the Mortar Evolution. If I just go in with the Electro Giant right here, then we can go Lightning Spell for his Tesla. And then we just win the game, right? Come on, E-Giant, go! Go, E-Giant, go! Yes, sir! What a comeback, baby! Maybe E-Giant Mortar is an actual thing. Moving on to deck number four, we have a Skeleton King Graveyard. And for the next evolution, what do we have? Oh, Barbarians. What card are we replacing today? Card number three. That means Phoenix is out of here and the Barbarians are in. This actually could work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Alright, he's gonna go ladder on left side. Let's go. Barbarian Bill with a greater right side of the arena. Get the poison ready to go for some minions or bats or barbarians. No, he just obstacles the skeleton dragons. That should be some good tower damage. 
but I don't have any air defense. We literally got rid of our Phoenix, our strongest air defense. And of course, we face Lava Loon. Oh, Clash Royale. Uh, Barbarian's here. Please say don't. Say, no, Fireball. Don't Fireball me, Mr. Thug. Don't you do it. Please, sir. All right, cool. We're safe. Let's go Skeleton King left side to get all these souls of the pups plus my Barbarians. We should be poised for a potential Graver push right side of the arena. He probably has the Infernal Dragon in there. So we're going to be really kind of ready for that. Let's go Barbarian Barrel here. Uh, you know what? I'm, yo I'm YOLOing it. I don't care. I'm going all in. I don't even care. What are you going to do? Spell that down? Are you going to go Skeleton Dragons? I mean, it might work. It does work. Oh, man. That, that, that hurts. Oh, he gets some tower damage. It's fine. I suppose it destroys the Infernal Dragon right side. We do also have the Evolve Barbarians ready to go, but I'm pretty sure his deck works a Roxy Fireball. So if I go Evolve Barbs, he probably just goes Fireball for them, correct? All right, let's go Barbarian Evolution behind the King Tower. See if it pays off. We need to go on the offensive because we don't have too many air defense options. By not too many, I mean we literally have none. So you know what? We're gonna go yellow. We, we, we can't defend that, so let's just go all in here. All in right side. Let's go uh, Skeleton King ability. Might be able to go in for the dual lane destruction with the poison here for the balloon. We can only use a poison. The Evolve Barbarian's left lane though. Going to town. Pound town, let's go. And now if we can defend for 45 seconds, which with no air defense, it's going to be impossible. Uh, but we'll still try. <laughs> oh man. We're so... Poison, please. Just destroy everything, please, poison. Yes, sir. One more ice poison here. Let's get our tombs ready to go for the balloon. If we can tombs on the balloon over, then we should be able to defend this. Come on, Ice Wizard. I need you now. You're my sole defender. Let's go. Okay. Yes, sir. Destroys the balloon. And then we go in on the offensive with the Barbarians and Graveyard. And we might take the three crown. Come on, Barbarians. Come on, Skeletons. Go in, my friends. No. You know what, though? I'll take it. That was a solid victory against an air heavy deck, and we only had one air defensive card. Moving on, we have a very powerful Royal Giant deck, but which of the remaining two evolutions are we using? Oh, ho, ho, the Evolved Knight in card slot number two. Once again, no Phoenix, which means we literally have zero air defense this time. Oh no. Yo, I literally have no Phoenix. Why? Clash Royale. Come on, dude. He even has the rage spell. Yo, you're joking. <laughs> and of course, we literally faced a balloon deck. No air defense. First battle. He's got balloon. Fishman over here, right side of the arena. Goblins for the mini Pika with the barbarian bell to finish off the wizard. And now we have the night evolution ready to go to support our next royal giant. If I go night evolution right lane to tank for my royal giant, does this work? What does he got as a response? Please don't say knight. He's gonna go skeleton army, correct, right? Is he back to Skarmy yet? Oh, he is! We got it with the Electro Spear, and then Knight devours his knight, giving us ample time to destroy with the Royal Giant. Archie's still going in there. And the Goblin gets once Macarinos too. And this is looking pretty good. RG goes in, destroys the wizard with a knight to tank for his mini Pika. Can we can we bypass this and apply pressure? Man, I really wish I had one thing to hit the air. If I could only destroy that baby dragon, I'd be so happy. Oh no. Get out of here, RG. Get out of here, my friend. Ready? Yoink. See ya. Wait, they didn't yoink get away. They went closer to my tower. <laughs> oh, I'm crying inside, but laughing outside. Let's go, RG here, right side of the arena. Get the electric spirit ready to go for the barbarians. Come on, please. Those are skeletons, Shane, not barbarians. Come on, RG. One more smack. Yes. All we need is two fireballs to finish his tower off. I'm gonna go a one more fish boy here with a ghost for the wizard. Then we go in with the night evolution right side of the arena with the barbarian barrel. And this should be enough pressure to destroy his tower, hopefully. Come on, night evolution. Oh, we pull it away. The night evolution goes in there. The tower goes down. For our final deck, we have balloon freeze. And to find out what card we are replacing with the evolved skeletons, we have ourselves hard number. It, it got stuck to this. It's actually card number three. So that means no bowler. Skeleton's going in, which actually seems okay. The Electro Dragon going in. Knight coming down. Did he get the king activated? He does. Yo, well played by my opponent. Let's go king activation of our own against the Goblin Barrel. Come on, yes, sir. The Infernal melts the knight down. 
if I go in, oh, he's got an Inferno Tower. Which means he probably has a rocket in there. Which means we likely won't get too much value. Oh my goodness, dude, this is going to hurt. We can barbell this Sculpting Barrel down here, though, right? Inferno Dragon going in. Destroying the Knight. I kind of want to go in with the Balloon right now to see what he does. But I can almost guarantee he's going to go Goblins for this, right? Right? Scar me. Nail that in. And then we freeze his tower. Yo, the prediction freeze on the Scarvy. <laughs> Let's go, baby. The tower goes down. One crown lead. Skeleton Evolution, you just got here. And I don't even need ya. Speaking of Skeleton Evolution, let's go Skeleton Evolution right lane. Barbarian Barrel for this Goblin Barrel. Evolve Skeleton's going down. Doing, oh, maybe something. If I go Lumberjack left side with a Balloon right lane, what does he have as a Evolve Skeleton response? They infinitely respond. Do they? No, they just die. They just die. The Evolve Skeletons are so hard to ever get any value with. They die so easily. But I mean, it's all right, right? Come on, Knight. No, no, no. That's bad. Don't do that. Come on, Skeletons. All right, it's fine. It's fine. The Skeletons pull the Knight back and also destroy this Dark Goblin, so we're kind of okay there. Barbarian Bill here for the Goblins. Let's go. And if I go in with the Lumberjack Balloon right lane, he has to go... Oh, the Mirror. All right, then. Yoink. Something in the middle right now. And where's your Skarmy? I see a Dark Goblin. I see a Free Spell. And I also see a Tower going down. Let's go. Oh, two crown victory. And we <laughs> didn't even do anything with the, the Skeletons. And there we have ourselves a solid two crown victory with the Skeleton Evolution deck. Which means all the evolutions are done and the challenge is complete. And that is the end. If you want to see more Clash Royale content, check out this video right here.